Scribblenauts is an action emergent puzzle game. Um, the point of it is, is that you can literally write anything you want. There's a few rules to that. One is uh, you can't write anything vulgar, you can't write anything copyrighted, and you can't write any proper names. Um, besides that though, you can really write whatever you want. If you want to write uh, unicorn, a unicorn will work. If you want to write whale, that'll work. If you want to write you know, drill, that'll work too. And uh, you can then use these objects to solve levels. The objective of Scribblenauts is to get the star eight. So there's different star eights. There's 220 levels. Um, those levels are divided up into action and puzzle. The action levels are more gamery, while the puzzle levels are more uh, casual. And uh, in each level, there's a star eight. So in you know, the, in the intro level, there's a star eight hanging in a tree, and Maxwell can't reach it. So you would do something like write ladder or jetpack or um, you know, like football or anything you want to get the star out of the tree. The best thing about Scribblenauts is there's just so many different ways to go about it. Um, we have forcefully made three different ways to solve the levels because that's how you beat a level 100% is if you beat it three different ways. Um, what's cool about that is you can't use the level that or use the items that you used in the previous way when you beat it. Um, but you know, just because we only have three that we've mandated, like there's still hundreds of ways to beat the levels. There's this one level where you can, uh, where there's a dog and a cat and you have to get them across, but obviously they're going to attack each other and fight each other. So people are you know, riding like helicopter and trying to transport it over and, and put wall and trying to make them go around and stuff, all this crazy stuff. And so one person they wrote, put out, uh, wrote uh, shrink ray and then shrunk the dog and then they wrote uh, like satchel and they put the dog in the satchel and just carried it across. So it was like, you know, and I was like, you can do that? I guess you can. Like, I didn't even know. I mean, I, I made the game and I didn't even know you can do that. So there's just so much stuff you can do in the game. We're, I mean, our games are definitely about, you know, being free form and being creative and things like that. But Scribblenauts just took it to a different level. Um, you know, it's a game that we've, we've never even, you know, nobody's really ever done. And um, what's really cool about it is, you know, we just spent all this time coming up with all these base systems and just plugging them in. Whereas Drawn to Life is, you know, you, you have a level and you have an enemy and it's very, you know, normal, like a normal game. So Scribblenauts is just something that nobody's really ever done before. In Scribblenauts, we uh, came up with uh, a database of tens of thousands of words and it took people, it took five people, about six months. And all they did is they went through Wikipedia and dictionaries and encyclopedias and anything they could get their hands on. I mean, people were even, you know, everyday things, just looking around their, their house and around them just to see, oh, uh, is, is this in the game? Oh, we should write this in the game. And then we had, uh, we had about eight artists and they would go, uh, uh, they spent, you know, almost a year just making stuff and just making art assets and making thousands and thousands and thousands of art assets. And then on the programming level, we basically took those assets and those words and said, okay, well, how would this work? How would a tree work? Well, a tree is made of wood, so it can burn. And so, okay, we have objects that can burn. And we had uh, things like, okay, well, AI and AI moves and AI is attracted to things and AI is afraid of things. And with vehicles, um, you know, it's like, well, vehicle, you know, what kind of, is it, does it move? Does it, does it go in the air? Does it go into the water? And so all these things are pre-programmed in the game. And we just said, okay, we just kind of ticked them off in, in this thing called Object Knot. And uh, that basically allowed us to make a huge amount of objects with you know, only a year's time of development. There's a lot of internet memes in the game. Um, the reason why, I mean, we're, we're, you know, we're game developers, so we're all into that stuff. Um, so we tried to get as much as we possibly could that wasn't copyrighted. Um, you know, we have Keyboard Cat, all kind of lol cats. We have All Your Bass Belongs to Us, which is you know, massively old. Um, we have just we have a ton. We have, even have uh, Post 217, which became kind of a you know a small uh, meme from uh, from Scribblenauts itself. And it's actually a poster of uh, of the Post 217, which is about you know Maxwell going back in time and on a dinosaur and stuff like that. And uh, if you use it, I think it explodes the entire level. As far as emerging gaming goes, I mean Scribblenauts definitely does it very well. I mean it's one of the games where. We literally just give people, you know, mass amount of tool sets and just do whatever they want. And from that point, you know, we have no idea how they're going to solve the levels. That's that kind of is the definition of emergent gameplay. Um, there's definitely a lot of games that are starting to do it, and I think it's just because the technology is now kind of getting to that point where we can do things like that. Um, not all games need to do it, and it's not always fun. I mean, you know, there's still there's still a place for story-driven games. There's still a place for multiplayer games. But uh, I think emergent gameplay is going to continue to be a very large part of, of the gaming industry. What I hope comes out of Scribblenauts the most is just that people have fun. Like, that's, you know, not all games have to be fun. Like, I mean, in the sense that, you know, sometimes they're trying to do be artsy or tell something. But, I mean, Scribblenauts is, isn't trying to do that. Like, Scribblenauts is just about having a blast and just screwing around and playing your way. You know, you can play on the title screen and, uh, you know, just screw around for hours and people have done that already. Um, you can solve the levels any way you want. You can replay those levels. You can uh, use the online editor and and uh, share levels with friends. So it's like there's just, you know, do what you want and have fun with it. Scribblenauts is coming out on the DS uh, September 15th, so look forward at your local game store.